Hey everybody, it's Badger Young, I'm back. Uh, I'm coming back to you a little bit early this week because we've had just so much news. Uh, so on today's episode, we're gonna be covering what a champion like me, Badger Young, keeps in his tennis bag. We're also gonna be talking about the fact that USTA um, has decided to allow us to all go play tennis again. And then finally, we're gonna do another letter because I gotta tell you, man, we're getting so many letters. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, first thing, I need to apologize for the construction noise going on in the background of this video. It's because my neighbor up the hill here is doing some essential uh, COVID work uh, to his house. And that's kind of an asshole move because none of us can do that. We're all stuck in our house, but he's got like 50 contractors up there right now hammering and sawing. Anyway, I apologize for that being in this uh, video. First things first, let's talk about the bag. You guys gotta get a good bag, a really good bag. None of this crap. Matter of fact, if you're walking around with your tennis rackets either in your hand or in some kind of backpack, I need you to unsubscribe. I need you to stop watching me. Just stop watching me because I don't even know who you are. I don't know who you are. You need a good bag, a real bag. All right, so what do we keep? What does a champion keep in his bag? First of all, the champion keeps a racket in his bag. In my case, I keep rackets and then just for you know when you're having a bad day and you just need to really switch up you know you get one of these guys out you can start playing like Rafa Nadal but you can't play like Rafa Nadal I can play like Rafa Nadal because I've got the racket but you need to have a bunch of rackets and the reason why you need a bunch of rackets is because there are times when you are playing when you need to break a racket it's not about the string breaking a string because you're just so good at your top spin it's about when you have a bad day and you need to break that record, break it, break it. We need to do that, and that's gonna like really give you some energy. But you need to have another racket in order to continue playing or to continue scaring everybody else. Up. Next thing you're gonna want, and this is really important, is a bag of grips. Guys, I'm sorry, man. I play with all of you guys, and it looks like you gri like gripped your racket like back in 1974. And you just got like this ugly, hairy mess on your on your grip. You can even play tennis with that. That's like an insult. You need to re-grip this thing like every time you play. As you can see, a champion has brand new grips. I put brand new grips every time I play. Finally, I just want to tell you something. I know all you guys with your sports drinks, and your energy bars, energy bars, and all that stuff. I'm gonna tell you, you don't need any of that stuff when you go play. What you need is a really good whiskey. You need a shot of whiskey before you start playing. And why is that? Because if you're nervous, it's gonna it's gonna calm you down. And if you're not nervous, it's gonna give you like the fight and the fire. So I always keep whiskey in my bag and I take a shot before oh, before every set. But I'm just telling you, you need to have that. Oh, what? What if I have an early game? What if I have to go play early in the day? And I'm just gonna say, dude, shut up. Just shut up early in the day. Anyway, those are the things you need to have in your bag to make yourself a champion. I'm gonna be right back so we can talk a little bit about this USTA situation. All right, guys, so if you're like me and you uh, spent a lot of money at USTA, you got a note today talking about how we can go play tennis again. Uh, I was actually going to go through that line by line. There's like 30 different things you have to do in order to actually safely go on to a tennis court and not infect David Gerstel. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to cover this later on this week because frankly, there is no danger that anybody around here is going to be playing tennis anytime soon. So we're going to cover that in a little bit. But first, I want to talk about a letter that I received uh, from a gentleman named Roy who was talking to me about the fact that I look... Uh, very handsome he doesn't mean anything by it i look very handsome and i'm always put together and roy is right when i show up to play tennis i always look the part i like to look and dress uh, like i'm a champion because you know what i am a champion and you can be a champion dresser too but roy sent me a note actually an email and he asked marcus when can i wear levi cutoffs to play tennis <sighs> first of all when is it right for a man to ever wear Levi cutoffs, Roy? But I'll tell you what, there is actually one place, one place where Levi cutoffs for a tennis match, especially a USCA tennis match, is exactly on par. 
and that's going to be at the Claremont Club and Resort. You wear cutoffs to that place every time you play.